Lieutenant Nick Hill spends his days as a file clerk in the athletic department at the Army's prestigious military academy at West Point. I came here to, you know, to serve my country, and whatever they want me to do, that's what I'm going to do. But he could be doing much more with that left arm than sorting paper. In 2007, Hill was drafted by the Seattle Mariners. And instead of rising through the military ranks, the promising pitcher climbed up the minor leagues to the double-A level. His weapon of choice, a 95-mile-per-hour fastball. When the season ended last year, the Army pulled Hill back into service, saying it couldn't afford to have officers playing baseball in a time of war. However, Hill says colleagues at West Point tell him the best way for him to serve is to play ball. From talking to my classmates and people who graduated before and who are here now at school, you know, they say, look, you've got unbelievable opportunity to play and probably you're doing more for us by playing in some ways just because, you know, you're giving us that outlet. Hill's tossing the ball with Cole White, who himself was drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates as an outfielder and played in the minor leagues last season. It's tough when you, when you see friends of yours um, going overseas and, and fighting and, and helping out, um, and then you're, you're trying to you know, pursue a career uh, you know, in baseball. Um, but it, at the same time, every one of them have been supportive, and I, I plan on uh, serving and potentially getting deployed. Um, maybe just a little bit later. Officially, the Army clamped down last year on allowing servicemen to pursue their abilities as athletes, saying all were expected to serve in times of war. One might ask whether serving in an office is the same as actual military deployment. To that, the Pentagon says White and Hill's service is equally valuable. Quote, service to our nation is in so many areas, not just on the battlefield, and that we try to balance the needs of the Army with the needs of the individual. But the Army is also encouraging the careers of the small number of athletes in their midst who have professional level talent. Hill has applied to rejoin the Mariners in May, and the Army is expected to approve his request. Seattle's Major League Club is even considering paying $100,000 to buy him out of his remaining educational debt with the Military Academy. Under Army regulations that holds an officer for two years after graduation, White must wait until May of 2010 to rejoin the Pirates. He will have other duties until then, but playing professional baseball will not be one of them. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, West Point, New York.